Hello. So I'm just going to do a video. Hopefully that's okay. I don't really see that um, it has to be typed out or anything. But anyways, I am Jessica Branch. I am in my third year at MCU. Um, second, second phase or phase two. Um, and I feel like we're probably going to, I'm probably going to be in the class with a lot of people that I've already been in class with. So, uh, hopefully I'm not repeating myself too much, but I live in Yuma, Arizona. My husband's military. We've been married for 16 and a half years. Um, I have three boys and because we are mar married to the military, we move around a lot. We may actually have to move during this trimester. We're not sure yet. So, um, Let's see, the background, um, I am from North Carolina originally, but um, like I said, we've, we've moved around a lot, so we've kind of lived in various places, which is really cool because we get to meet a lot of different people. Um, interest, we are very, we're avid off-roaders, so I drive a Jeep and we do a lot of off-roading. Since we live in the desert, we do a lot of desert um toys like uh razor dirt bikes things like that i ride a dirt bike i've rode a motorcycle most of my life um i have we have a boat we do we love outdoor things so uh we try to do as much as that as possible whenever we live in the desert so you know several months out of the year it's like 120 degrees here every day so we try to do what we can when um the weather's really nice which is right now and it's like 75 every day it's really nice um Okay, so I told you we live in Yuma, Arizona. That is about three miles from California and about 10 miles-ish from Mexico. So, uh, very southwest corner of Arizona and, um, like, the most southern uh, western point of Arizona. Um, I actually am in California often for uh, work or whatever, doing home visits and things like that, and... Um, it kind of messes with you because we don't do the time change here and everywhere else does pretty much. And so right now, California is an hour um, uh, behind us and it's so annoying because if you cross the state line, your phone adjusts. But anyways, <laughs> um, I work with um, a huge Mexican culture um, that's like probably almost the majority of our practice is Mexican or... Um, we do a lot of military families also. Um, so, and honestly, I don't know exactly where I'm going to be, where, what setting I'm going to be in right now. We try to plan for the future, but we've been told where to live our whole lives and we don't really know where we're going to end up, where my husband's going to end up retiring. So I honestly have no idea where we're going to be or what kind of community we're going to serve. I, I kind of do hope that we continue to serve military families. Um, I think that this is a, it's a big need, um, because ugh, I could get into so much, but you know, there's a, there's a lot of, uh, there's some lacking care, um, in the military. And, um, so this is just, just one of those ways that I feel like, um, it's a way to like kind of give back um, tell me what we're hoping to gain from this course. I haven't had a chance to really look over the syllabus too much, but, um, I am just hoping to learn more about, you know, how to be culturally, culturally safe. Um, I'll give one example of how I made a cultural mistake, um, in the last year because I've lived here and I've been in a preceptorship for about a year and a half here. Um, I was under the impression that you're supposed to call uh, anyone from, like, a Mexican descent Hispanic. I don't know why I was under that impression, but I've learned that um, not all Mexicans are Hispanic, and not all Hispanics are Mexican, <laughs> so um, I just learned that recently, and uh, no one was offended, thankfully, but I was like, wait, what? You know, like, I didn't understand that Hispanic and Mexican are different and majority of what we serve are Mexican, not Hispanic. So that was just one cultural thing that I've learned since being here. And there's, we have a lot of Spanish speakers also, and I know very few words, um, in Spanish. So, you know, it's a very cultural Mexican cultural, culturally rich area. That's about it for now. Thanks. Bye-bye.